Hey everybody, today I'm going to be looking at this Ninja coffee maker. It makes up to 10 cups of coffee. As you can see right here, the max is a full pot right here. So let's get into the video and see how this works. So first things first, we need to fill the water to our desired level. So as you can see, it tells you how much water you need for each individual cup size. So if you want it to have this full thing of coffee, you would need to fill this up with max water. Same thing with minimum, you need to at least have this much water for one cup. So I'm gonna make about one cup, so I'm gonna fill it to right here. So now that we have our water at the minimum level for one cup, I put a little extra just in case, it can never be too safe. So I just put it in right there and you can hear it lock in and that's how you know it's ready to go. So the next step is to take our coffee spoon right here and scoop up the coffee. And what I really like about this is they show you how many scoops you need uh, regarding to how much coffee you want actually brewed. So right here, this is what I'm gonna do. It says two to three scoops for, you know, the smaller size or the larger size uh, single serve. And then three to five scoops of this size for um, the next size up. And then on the back side, this is if you're making the larger pots. So three to four of the bigger scoops and then four to six of the bigger scoops if you wanna do a full pot. So really, really cool design. And then this part actually snaps onto the side and I'll show you that in a second. So what I really like about this coffee maker is you don't need coffee filters at all. And this saves me a ton of money down the line. So what they actually did is they made this reusable coffee filter that you can wash after use and you never have to throw it away, which is great. So. Then they have this little holder, so you can actually be away from the machine. You have your coffee right here, and then you can simply scoop. So I'm gonna do two scoops. So one and two. And that's it, you just put this back in and we are ready to get started. So what I did was I went ahead and put ice inside the pot right here because I'm a big iced coffee guy. I don't really want uh, a hot coffee in the morning. I'd rather have something colder to start my day. And so if that's you, this is perfect because there's a little setting right here that says over ice. So let me show you how this works. You simply click the power button first and this lights up. Then you turn the knob, as you can see, it lights up to whichever thing you have selected. I'm gonna go ahead and do the extra large cup uh, because I might have two for myself. And then you wanna turn this to the drip. And this is great, so if you had a cup underneath and you, you know, misinterpreted the size, you can simply turn this and everything will stop dripping. So. I'll Turn it on, and then all I have to do is click one of these options. So again, I want it over ice, so I just click over ice, and now it goes by itself. there we can see it dripping down. We heard it heating up earlier. And I will just give it a couple minutes to just simply drip down. And I wish you guys could smell this, it smells wonderful.
Okay, so now it's all finished. We're just gonna turn it off, turn that to stop drip, and then inside we have some nice coffee. So let's see how this turned out. So this is what I'm gonna be drinking out of, and we've got our pot right here, so let's pour it in carefully. And wow, that was perfect because I'm gonna put some milk inside. So let's do that. So now I've got my almond milk and I'm just gonna pour it in on the top. This is always my favorite part. Give it a little mix. And there we go, we've got our coffee this morning. Woo! So some more notable features. They have the time right here, which I really like. It's a small detail, but I think it's cool. Um, then we have this little drop down, so you can actually put your mug right here and it can drip directly into it, so you don't have to use the pot the whole time. Um, on the side right here is what I mentioned earlier, where you can take the little scooper and simply just attach it like so, and it stays there. It has a nice home, which is awesome. That concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. The Ninja Coffee Maker is an excellent product, and I hope you guys check it out.